Hi, my name is Logan Ebo, and I'm from Christian Life Church, and I would like to preach a sermon about repentance. Mm -hmm. Have you ever done something so wrong that you were <clears throat> that you that you thought your world was going to end, or that the guilt was so great that you were scared to repent to God? Well, I thought about this one question at one time, believe it or not, and the truth is that there's a powerful God that cares and that wants to cleanse us from our sins. And all we have to do is repent from our ways. 1 John 1 9 says, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive our sins and cleanse us from all righteousness. Now, I'm going to tell you a few fundamental prin principles about repentance, which are the confession, the change, and the forgiveness. So, point one, the confession. It's not easy to confess your sins, but when you do confess your sins, not only will you receive great relief, but God the Creator will wipe your guilt and shame clean, including any sins you have, you have committed against God. Acts 3.19 says, If you repent and turn to God, then your sins will be wiped away. Now, we need to learn what to confess means. And what to confess means is that we read the Holy Word, and that we read that He is, we admit that He is right, and that we are wrong. And that's all we have to do. The story of David and Bathsheba is a perfect example of this. David committed, David committed major sins against God, such as adultery and murder. But what I like about this story is that when David was told that he was wrong, he repented to God. And not only that, he wrote his sins down in a journal and praised God for forgiving him. So first we, went into, first we went into the confession. Now we go into the change. When you have repented your sins, the next thing that will happen is that Jesus will work within you. And you'll begin to change your belief, your lifestyle, and your way of thinking. Now, you're going to have trials and burdens, but the Lord comforts us in Psalms 55:22 where it says, give your sins to the, give your sins to, the learn, to the Lord, and He'll take care of you, for He will not let the, God, not let the godly fall. <clears throat> Change is not comfortable or relaxing, but it's the exact opposite. We need to be at a point where we can just, where our comfort is not our biggest concern, and be at a point where, our, where we just suck it up and let the Lord change us the way He wants us to. <laughs> Now, first we went into the confession, we jumped into the change, now let's get into the forgiveness. I had for a long time misunderstood what forgiveness truly meant. We think that forgiveness means that I for forgive this person and we should go back to being okay with each other. And you're right. But when, I truly look, when we truly look at the word and its meaning, we begin to realize that when I forgave that person, I lift the shame off that sin they committed against, against them, against us. That's the way God works with us when He forgives. He tries, he tries to lift, lift the shame and guilt off of us so that we can continue without suffering. Psalm 64, 3 says, Though we are overwhelmed by our sins, you forgave them all. You know that relieving, good feeling, burden crushing feel is? It's called grace. It's because of that grace provided by God through Jesus that we, that we can repent to God without God being mad at us or judging us. Now, my family, we get into a lot of fights, and most of, and most of the arguments are just plain stupid. <laughs> but in the end, though, we come together, we apologize, forgive each other, and forget my morning. That's the way God works with us. You may say that to repent is embarrassing, or you may say that I don't need to repent because I'm a good person. Well, the truth is that we need to get over our embarrassment and tell God the up and up. We also need to get over, get over our pride and mindset that we're good enough people not to repent. Because the truth is, we are terrible human beings. <laughs> we need to repent to Him to, so that way we can be right with God. So to sum it up, God does not ignore you or hold your sins against you because of, because of who you are or because you've, you're just a plain sinner. But God wants us to take our sins to Him so that we can repent to Him. Because God loves it when you, when you repent to him. And the Bible explains that in Luke chapter 15, 10. There is joy in the presence of God's angels when someone repents. So if you have guilt or any condemnation of any kind, then the enemy can beat you up spiritually. So don't fret, for the Bible has a verse in Romans 8 that says, There is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Thank you for your time.